myself. Right now, I'll begin the today's topic that I had ever uh, the present, uh, prepared. Uh, for the first time, I'm very thankful for the invitation to this very significant international conference. And uh, already the third time um, since I back to Korea from Germany, this uh, Mediterranean hosted uh, international conference uh, several, uh, several years have uh, not uh, continued further because of uh, an expected coming of Corona. Right now, we are slowly uh, seeing the possible uh, disappearance of this uh, pandemic. And uh, the tema is uh, the lesson of the pandemic, but my tema is not related with it. I understand, I uh, hope that you understand it. Before the uh, comprehensive explanation, I uh, will introduce the general important thing for my tema especially about Roman historiography. Therefore, I have prepared some past slides in PPT. First one, I will explain the major Roman Empire. Usually, it is uh, understood in Bakhtet. Uh, Bakhtet is the professional word, the late antiquity. In general, the late antiquity, later Roman Empire, from the reign of Diocletian to the end of Western Roman Empire, circa 200 years, it is the Roman Empire. Here, we see the dramatic change of historiography. The general Roman history was uh, presumably overwhelmed by the suddenly appearance of the uh, church history. Therefore, they have uh, some crisis. Can you go to bed and check it? Go to bed. Uh, second slide is church history. Is uh, as I have already mentioned, church history is popular. While the traditional Roman history is uh, in a difficult situation, therefore this is crisis for pagan Romans, non-Christian Romans. Here, I will introduce the person who had a focus right about Roman pure history. He is not the orthodox Roman person. He was born in a suburban area in the Italian peninsula, and uh, therefore, presumably, he is something like the foreign person, Balance. He ruled the Roman Empire from 364 to 379. He needs to know what is Roman history, general knowledge about it. Therefore, Eutropius, as an official, they take over this uh, assignment. Who is or author Eutropius? He is just a chronographer, not systematic writer of history, just he delivers general information in a very simple form. He lives in the early uh, 4th century and late 4th century, circa 70 years from living from empire. Eutropius writing. What is his writing? His uh, job is Magister Memoriae. It is an official writer of history in the imperial court. And uh, he has uh, brought a new form of history of historical writing in Roman history, and uh, it is defined by myself as this form, eutrophic instruments. He met intentionally particular persons, and these particular persons ought to be beautified or magnified, somewhat exaggerated with his intention. Presumably, Eutropius fabricated the episodes of Pyrrhus. Fabricius and uh, Regulus. I will run a somewhat tabularized uh, in summary on um, historical writing. For better understand, uh, I will explain. The whole Roman history, each time span is more than 1,200 years from the beginning of foundation of city law till the end of the Western Roman Empire, 
it is usually 1,220 years that Eutropius wrote Roman history from the beginning of Roman history till his contemporary era. Therefore, circa 90% of who real Roman history was included in his work. It's very marvelous and wonderful, but his content are regrettably very, very short and small. It's uh, his weak point. Yes. That's all that I'd like to introduce in the beginning phase of my introduction. That, uh, somewhat skeptically, was this uh, self-competent demonstration that state of Rome was clearly well-planned king of Epirus? The opinion of a German philologian, Mr. Wilhelm Friedhelm, is uh, so the story may be fabricated. This opinion is found in his very famous book, Eutropi Previarium, in the pages 166 and 167. Then one more thing is the strict uh, treatment of the returned Roman prisoners uh, here. Also, Rome tried to show their honorable attitude in the international world. They respect the honor, honor. It's also presumably some, somewhat fabricated. The reports of Kineas who was sent to Rome as a period in here also more uh, unbelievable the statement we can find uh, even Ragum se patriam videse. It means I saw the home of the king. That means the Roman system, Roman state is absolutely better than the others. It's also presumably very skeptical statement. Examples in which the purpose is on public use. Uh, I have uh, two points here. Uh, because of our uh, lack of time, I will uh, pass it and uh, I go over to the post chapter Regulus. Um, for the Regulus understanding, this information must be given. The second book is composed of 28 chapters, and circa the last 10 chapters are content. On the first Punic War, this event comprises the most 40 percentage of the whole book. Eutropius count lacks common information on the very world itself. Instead, it focuses on particular persons. Surprisingly, in chapter 21 and 25, Eutropius fleeing the defeated but changed Roman council regulus into relief. The also is indifferent to the pace and tendency of the flow of the world, but is very interested in particular aspects of certain persons, regulus. He is always ready to embellish the persona to the degree that each actuality is suspected. Then, uh, the given uh, the original source is you can see, then I will go over to the next uh, argument. In the page six, uh, number three, why did the Atropius try to highlight the blues despite his actual weak point? Possible intentions uh, I can find like this. Uh, making Roman hero, encouraging the pride of Roman nation, self-preserving method against uh, church history, recovery of traditional values, and the uh, spotlighting effects is or uh, my own original discovery, it's uh, presumably it's pre experimental, but uh, are we introduce 959 system I have found. Uh, it is highly designed by uh, Eutropius, uh, presumably, nine years before Regulus, five years with Regulus, nine years after Regulus. In this uh, somewhat monotonous uh, description, he needs to uh, make the reader in attention. Therefore, this uh, not so important person, Regulus, must be needed for his uh, uh, strategical writing intention. Right now, we see the conclusion in the number five. Intention of Eutropius and what this means. General things, typical Eutropic writing intentions. The who of Roman history extremely condensed by the order of balance, peculiar Roman elements are uh, illuminated, national pride, Roman faithfulness, loyalty, and birch. Maybe it is uh, uh, the stressing on the patriotism. Third, four, five, these points are omitted right now. 
than the one more the considerable things typical eutropic writing intentions one two three four you can see uh, just uh, it is good example of biohistoriography in the fourth century it is the eutropius breviarium it is similar to victor aurelius thank you very much for your attention